Hey guys, what's going on? So, the, just wanted to go over the review part two. So it's been over 200 kilometers that I've driven the vehicle now. Um, whatever the plugin is supposed to do, match, read the computer, and then make it perform better on the vehicle. It should have done that by now. So driving the vehicle itself, I do feel a little bit more response from it. I also do feel a little bit more on the top end, like it wants to go, 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 go. But I mean, it's hard to tell. You, you're not gonna. I don't think you're gonna feel the 35% that they say you're gonna feel. Really, because I mean that would be an insane jump in power and. 20% torque that they say they will, but seems to have done a little bit. So I mean, for 40 bucks, what else do you expect, right? So you can't really expect much more for that. But overall, $40, you get a little bit of a better response. Not bad, I guess. I mean, obviously this is just the budget build, right? But if we go to a tune shop and they actually do a proper chip and proper ECU build up and stuff like that so then you're going to have a lot more response a lot better right so you get what you pay for right so that is my review of the OBD2 plug the nitro so if, if you want it get it but I mean don't expect to get like 30 40 horsepower out of the vehicle right it just doesn't make any sense so all right guys hope you enjoyed um stay tuned for other stuff